Hey guys, it's Chris with Double Eagle Gunworks, and we're out here on the range today, and I want to show you what we've done uh, to the range, and just to improve it some, uh, so that the folks out here shooting have a better experience uh, while they're here. Uh, I started out with the range, just a little tiny berm down there at the end, uh, and then just had some uh, frame set up down there to, to be able to put targets on. Uh, but the first thing that we did other than them building the bigger berm down there was I built or I had this frame and there's some pieces of uh, metal up here that uh, I bought online and it's just a y-shaped uh, piece of metal it has a hole for the bar to go through and then two legs that go down on the inside of these pipes here so I had the frame set up and then had some just these hooks that came with the set of uh, frame uh, stanchions and just had the hooks sliding on the pipe. Uh, started out doing it that way, just had uh, the, the targets hanging directly from these and the frame was a lot lower to the ground because these legs were coming in more like a tent. Uh, on the sides so it was a lot more A-frame shaped to start with uh, because the, the holes are oversized up here in these pieces of metal so th to hold everything in place the legs leaned over to the sides. So to be able to get a little more room on the, the top of the, the stand here so I could get more people shooting, I straightened the legs up a little bit and put the braces up here and we also decided that we wanted to make the the stand mobile rather than having folks walk back and forth on the the range so much and take up more time that way to help speed the process along a little bit uh, and also to just be one thing moving rather than everybody having to, to move we decided to put the the frame on wheels and I was going to just do it by putting the four befores here running on the side had the, the wheels mounted on the, the sides of it there so that it would roll straight, but it was still too unstable. It was, um, it was wanting to move around too much and it was very hard to move back and forth. Every time you started to, to push this side, the other side would come up out of the wood because I don't have these glued in so that I can move it around and take it apart if I need to to do something else with it. Uh, but to make it a little more stable, I decided to put the cross braces on the, the front. So I added another two more four befores here. So this thing is eight foot deep and 10 foot long. So I can get three people shooting in here fairly easily. And once I got the, the base set up and try to move it. It was a lot better, but when you try to push from one side, if you just have one person out here trying to move the, the stand around, it gets a little crossways in the path as you're trying to push it up, or you, you wind up pushing too hard and it pushes the frame up out of the wood. So decided to try to put a handle on the frame to be able to, to push it forward and backwards uh, a little easier and just went to Lowe's got some uh, pieces of um, pipe just some regular fittings of galvanized pipe there and then some other off cuts of the same steel pipe that I used for the the frame itself and just made a handle for the frame so just drop those down in, in the pipes. That way it's pretty easy to take it out when you start to move it so that you don't have this in the way when you're shooting either on this side or on the back side of it. Uh, so just put, put the frame here and now you can, if I'm on that side, I can push it down all the way to the end of the range fairly easily. And when it's up down there, you push from this side and it rolls back this way pretty easy. So. I'm just going to show you what it, just pulling it works the same way. 
and I've got rocks set up for my different distances. So all you have to do is line up the center wheel on the right color rock. And with this, this tire being in the center of the, the base here and it lines up with my frame up top. So now my targets are lined up where they're supposed to be as long as I'm lined up on my rocks. So it makes it a lot easier uh, to move this thing forward and backwards and get it in the right position so folks can stay underneath the canopy if it's pouring down rain and I'm the only one that has to get wet uh, when we're out here shooting. So that's the one of the biggest improvements that we did is get this to where we can move around and just take it out and sit it beside a tree to be able to have open area on the frame to be able to shoot from. And once I got the, the top rail up higher, I didn't want to hang the, the targets directly from these because it was going to get the targets too high and be shooting over the, the top of the berm. So I just took some paracord and hung the, the clips that I had been using up here and these are uh, just plastic covered metal clothespins just hanging uh, from the paracord. Hang the targets from those with a backer on them to make the target a little bit stiffer while they're shooting. Works great. And these are adjustable so they just slide back and forth on the, the target stand to be able to set up so folks can, can shoot. So, wasn't terribly expensive uh, to do this, just a little more time involved because of the, uh, figuring out exactly um, what was going to work the best for it. But uh, all total uh, with the, the wood and all the different parts and pieces that I bought with the, uh, this and uh, um, all the pipe and everything, less than 500 bucks uh, for the whole thing. I'd have to add it all up, but probably less than that. Because uh, the, if the wood hadn't got, got so expensive because of all of the, the stuff going on these days, it would have been a, uh, a lot less expensive. Uh, but a lot of the materials have doubled and tripled in price uh, because of the, the virus uh, that's going around right now. So uh, this is a real easy way to get a mobile target stand uh, to be able to put on your range. And you can customize this thing uh, based on what size you want to build it. So when we first started the range, I had just a little small berm right here that it wasn't very big. It was probably only about eight or ten foot long and uh, not near as high as it is now. Uh, so I wanted to make sure that we protected what was behind us even though you can go for a couple miles back behind the berm and there's uh, nothing back there that's going to get hurt by any uh, ammo that goes down through there. Uh, but I wanted to make sure that we had the, uh, the berm set up and so now with the targets down there I'm moving the targets uh, down this way the berm's uh, the right height to be able to capture uh, all of the bullets as they're coming down this way and also when we I first started working on the range, the, the width of the range wasn't near as wide either. It was only uh, maybe about half the width that it is now. So I got in here with the tractor and uh, graded it out uh, a little bit more to, to widen it up and to try to smooth it up a little bit. It could still use a little bit more uh, fine grading, but with what I got to work with, it, it's hard to get it uh, dead level um, with the tractor that I've got, but uh, got it widened up and then you can see the rocks going down through there. That's the yardage markers uh, for the different shooting distances that we've got. That was a real simple way to do that. I had a bunch of rocks uh, in the yard anyway, so I just picked out the, the ones we needed and painted them a different color so that we could mark off the yardages and know which one was which 
on the yardages. And then you can see down at the, the other end, the latest addition to the range is the canopy down there. Uh, we added that to be able to, to shoot outside when it was raining because uh, you never know exactly what the weather is going to be when you have an outdoor rain. So to help protect you from the sun and the, uh, the rain, we've got the canopy set up out there. Uh, it's open on the side so that you still get the air going through. It doesn't get as hot uh, underneath it, but it protects you from the weather. Uh, so it's a, uh, a 12 by 20 canopy, so we've got plenty of room under there. And uh, built a new bench uh, back there at the back of the, the range. You can see it. Uh, and it's uh, a lot bigger than the, the saw horses and the two two by eights that were out here uh, to begin with. So we've done a lot of improvements on it. Uh, still got things that we could do, but you know, it uh, is very functional right now. We can uh, get out here and do classes and not have and have plenty of room for people to move around while they're out here, and everybody stay safe and uh, stay underneath the canopy to get out of the weather and everybody have a joy, enjoyable experience while they're out here shooting. Hey, we just uh, cut a new trail through the woods up here to be able to move dirt from where the dirt's gonna be dropped up at the driveway down through the woods so that we can get it back over there to the berm and uh, build up the berm the rest of the way, the way we need to. So let's take a trip through the new trail. Got a few stumps we'll have to get rid of. We've had to cut out a few trees on the way up through here. And we got some old trees that had already filled that we'll just have to cut up and we move those out of the way. Got a nice wide clearing up through here now so we'll be able to get a tractor or box out, whatever we need to, down through here at the time. Right here, we'll make a little turn. dirt back and forth from the old area where I've been getting it connects back right here so we've shortened our moving route oh I don't know 50 to 100 feet maybe so we've got a little bit shorter route and more of a direct route now down there to be able to dump the dirt on the berm one of the other things that we needed to do out here was we had couple of trees that were in the way to be able to, to widen this thing out enough. Uh, we had this tree especially, and I was worried about this one because as you can see from the, the bottom of it there, that's the, the bottom of, the, of the, uh, the trunk there, and then you can see the trunk over here that's where it's laying down on the ground. That thing's pretty hollow. Uh, so it was standing right here in the corner, and I've got the, the stump pretty well covered up now with some more dirt to be able to widen the, the range out some more but that thing uh, was in a very precarious position so uh, a friend of mine came over and he helped me uh, take down the the tree and get this out of the way to help uh, improve the safety out here so we didn't have to worry about a tree falling while anybody was uh, out here shooting and then we cut out some small ones along the side here to be able to get the width that we needed and to be able to move the dirt that I uh, got brought in, I had a uh, dump truck load of dirt brought in to be able to put on the berm to be able to get it big enough. I had to cut another trail through my woods uh, up to 
around the garage and over toward the driveway so that the um, I could get the tractor in and out of here to be able to uh, bring the dirt over here to the berm. So it's a lot of different things that we had to do to make everything work, but now we've got a nice little trail that uh, we can go up through uh, to be able to, to get up into the, the woods. And, uh, and eventually uh, we're looking at possibly putting a, a building up there to be able to have classes in. So it'll just be a natural path down to the, uh, the shooting range once we uh, are able to do something like that uh, up there on the hill. Our fire. Gets the tactical hat, which would have been great for the range. <laughs> but the really cool thing is, uh, is this USB drive. So what's on here is another 16 hours of additional videos and training, right? So how to create a home defense plan, right? More in depth on that situation awareness. My mom watched the video. Number one human trafficking target location: Walmart. Oh yeah. Right. So you go out, and my mom is, you know, she's the first person. Get on her phone, start walking through Walmart. Get on her phone just enough time to load her car and leave, right? Well, until you realize that there's a van right next to you, you walk by, they open the door, grab you, shut the van, you're gone. We got a hundred. Okay, we'll give you a quick wrap up on the um, the range improvements. We had our first class today after we've. Uh, completed the range uh, work that we've been doing, had the, the new canopy up, had the new uh, mobile target stand, and uh, everything worked great. Uh, the weather cooperated, so we didn't really need uh, the canopy that much, but it kept people out of the, the sun and also um, just gave a nice little uh, shade underneath the, the canopy as well while we're shooting. Uh, the mo rolling stand worked well. Uh, it pushes back and forth uh, pretty well with the little bit of improvement that I did on the uh, the handle of it. I uh, were able to, to roll it back and forth pretty well and didn't have any, any problems with that. Uh, biggest issue, just got to get some stronger clips to hold up the targets. They, they get a little weak uh, as you use them over and over. So I got to get some uh, stronger clips to hold up the targets on the, uh, the mobile stand. But other than that, everything worked great. We had four students today in our class. Everybody passed, and we all had a great time. So check out the, the videos on uh, DoubleEagleGunWorks.com. Read the blogs, and like and subscribe down at the bottom.